Okay, so if you're actually pretty good in basic math, well then you should be able to add this decimal with this fraction without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have negative 0.75 plus the fraction 1 eighth. Now, if you think you can solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so once again, we have negative 0.75 plus 1 eighth. What is the correct answer? Well, the correct answer is one of these right here. So in fraction form, you would have negative 5 eighths. And in decimal form, you have negative 0.625. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot all my arithmetic. Can you review this with me? Well, I definitely can. Okay, so we have two ways to do this problem without using a calculator. So depending on whether you like to work with fractions or decimals, now if you like decimals, well, we have to change this fraction into a decimal and then add the decimals. But uh, if you like fractions better or if you find working with fractions easier, what we need to do is change this decimal into a fraction and then add the fractions. Now, because we're not using a calculator, I think it's a lot easier to change this decimal into a fraction. All right, so we have negative 0.75. Let's just take a look at the decimal 0.75. So how do, we re how do we read this with place value? So the seven is in the tenths place and the five is in the hundredths place. So 0.75 is equal to the fraction 75 hundredths. Okay, so we can reduce this uh, fraction down to three fourths. So negative 0.75 is equal to the fraction negative three fourths. All right, so that means that our problem now is this. So instead of a negative 0.75 plus 1 eighth, what we have is negative 3 fourths plus 1 eighth. All right, so how do we add fractions? Well, we need to have the same denominators. And here we have 4 and here we have 8, so we need to be thinking about the LCD. Okay, so how do we find the LCD? Well, that's a whole topic in and of itself. But hopefully you're like, hey, Mr. D2 Math Man, this is really easy. The LCD here, or the lowest common denominator, is 8, right? Because 8 is the smallest number that both 8 and 4 divide into without a remainder. All right, so that means that we need to change this uh, fraction right here such that it has a denominator of 8. All right, so we're not talking about difficult math here. Now, again, if some of you are like, hey, Mr. D2 Math Man, I forgot all this stuff. Well, I'll give you some uh, suggestions here in a second. But uh, let's go ahead and change this denominator into an 8. So how do we change a 4 into an 8? Well, that's easy. All we need to do is multiply by 2. But if we uh, multiply the denominator by 2, we also have to multiply the numerator by 2. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So we're going to end up with negative 6 over 8 plus 1 eighth. All right, so now we have uh, fractions here with the same denominator. So how do we add fractions with the same denominators? Easy, all we have to do is add the respective numerators. All right, now hopefully you're up to speed on your positive and negative numbers because we need to figure out what negative six plus one is equal to. All right, so negative six plus one is equal to negative five. So our answer here is negative five eighths. All right, so this is the first way to do this problem uh, using fractions. I'm gonna show you how to work in decimals in just one second. But uh, let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now my goal on YouTube is to try to help as many people as possible in math. But I can't do that unless I get the support of people like yourself. And the best way to support this channel is to literally hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well so you get uh, alerts on my latest videos. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, here's what you're going to get in every one of my courses. First of all, I'm going to give you a full, comprehensive, and detailed lesson on each topic. Now, this is going to make a huge difference in your ability to understand math. Oftentimes, uh, students struggle in math because they're really not getting enough instruction. So in my courses, I think you'll really like the instruction. It's very easy to understand and step by step. Also, we're going to practice, practice, practice. I cover thousands of practice problems with full video solutions. 
Now, if you want additional practice, I have a ton of practice worksheets. Also, I have online quizzes to help you prepare for tests and even downloadable and printable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great way to learn math, well, then check out my courses at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so the other way to do this problem is to work in all decimals. So that means we have to change this fraction 1 8 into a decimal. So 1 8 is equivalent to the decimal 0.125. But uh, how do we change a fraction into a decimal? Well, we have to do the division. So we have 1 divided by 8. So we have to do this problem here. Okay, so when we do this division problem, we're going to end up with the decimal 0.125. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but uh, I will give you some suggestions on how you can review fractions and decimals in just one second. But uh, I'm just going to assume that you know that the fraction 1 8 is equivalent to the decimal 0.125. All right, so this will take you a little bit of work, and that's why I indicated that it's a lot easier to do this problem working with fractions. All right, so now we need to figure out what this is equal to. So we have negative 0.75 plus 0.125. Now we have a negative number and we're adding it to a positive number. So we need to think about is the answer going to be positive or negative? Now we know from uh, doing this problem originally or doing with fractions that our answer is going to be negative, but uh, how can we determine that by looking at these decimals? Well, just kind of look at the absolute values of these decimals. In other words, forget this uh, negative sign here and which is the larger decimal? Well, we have 0.75 and 0 0.125. 0 0.75 is greater than uh, 0.125. So you can kind of think of an easy problem like this, maybe like negative 4 plus 1, right? So what is the sign of this answer or sign of this question? So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So in this case, because this is a larger uh, uh, value and it's negative, our answer will be negative. Okay, so to uh, add these numbers, we need to subtract these two decimals and then put a negative sign in front of the answer. Okay, so here is that work. Now, this is more, you know, kind of review in terms of how to work with decimals. Again, I'm not going to go through it. I will show you the work, but uh, we have to figure out what the difference of these two decimals are. Okay, so we have 0 0.750 minus 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.125, and here is the work. All right, so when you subtract these two decimals, you're going to get 0.625. And again, our answer is negative. All right, so as you can see, it's a lot more work to work with uh, decimals. It's a lot easier to do this problem with fractions. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need additional help with uh, decimals and fractions, then check out these two courses. You can find links to them in the description of this video. And that is my Math Foundations course and my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.